In this tutorial, I'm going to try and cover some of the settings of the liquid effect in X lights. So here is the icon for liquid. And for this one, I'm going to put it on a matrix. The reason being, it's much easier to visualize what is happening with this particular effect. Now, I'll be upfront about this. A lot of the settings, uh, you know, I've studied the manual, but they some of them don't really seem to react in the way that one would expect. So I'll go through and I'll just, I'll cover what I can uh, and uh, explain what I can. So firstly, we'll look at the color palette. So only one color can be applied. You select two colors, only the first color is honored. And even if you select these mixed colors, old particle colors, it doesn't seem to do anything. However, you can use a color curve, in which case it will change color over time. So now we come to here. Now, if you think about your prop as like a, a, a vessel of some type. So currently the vessel doesn't have any sides, any bottom or uh, anything like that. But if we put those in and we actually say turn the flow up, So, if I come down a little bit, maybe there we go. Yeah, I think I just went a bit too big. You can see it's it's getting still. What the liquid is getting stuck at the sides. If I turn these barriers off, you can see the liquid can just fall out of the sides. So there you go. Now these two. I've enabled and disabled, I've read the manual, um, but they don't seem to have any effect. I've tried multiple settings. So people, in, feel free in the comments, if you've figured out how to use these, then uh, let me know and let the other people know so they can uh, uh, know what's going on. So now lifetime, this is another one. No matter what I do, it doesn't seem to do anything. It's supposed to impact the lifetime of the particles, but no matter what setting I do, it doesn't seem to really make a major change. And this also applies to these different types of effect. If I select powder, you can see elastic. You know, there may be subtle differences, but nothing major. Okay, that one did look a little bit different, but can see the majority of those are very similar. Again, warm up frames. This is supposed to affect the start of the particle. So if we pull that back, again, you know, you can see it's not making a major difference. So unfortunately, I can't bring any light to that. Uh, so it'll just have to be trial and error for yourself. I'll put, try it on different settings, say spring, and then warm up frames. No effect for me. The speckle. Again, not a lot of change. So I suggest read the manual. I've read through the manual and uh, see if you can uh, work out what is going on here. Gravity is what you would expect. If I put it to a negative gravity, you'll see I change the flow a little bit. You see some particles are now shooting up to the top of the screen. As opposed, if I have a positive gravity, maybe I need to reduce the uh, size a little bit for that to work. There you go. That's much better. So yeah, so you can see now that the gravity is sort of stopping. I would expect at minus one hundred gravity that the particles will be shooting up a lot quicker than that, but. Uh, at least you can see that it does have an effect. Okay. The X and Y is the source point. So if we move this, you can see that the source moves to the right or to the left or up and down. Next is the direction the particles flow. So I'll change the source size for this so we can see it much better.
Okay, and then move the here. Now, if we change the direction, you can see it's where the jet is pointing. Okay, velocity alters the speed of the flow, the speed of the particles, and flow you've seen is how much liquid is coming out of that jet. And source size is how, how big the tap is, if you think, or the faucet, you Americans. Okay. And then flow matches music, the intensity and everything should match the intensity of the music. Okay, so I'm sorry I can't cover every part of these, but, uh, you know, I've been through it for a good several hours uh, and I can't seem to get some of these to make an effect. But, you know, you may have better luck. So uh, until next time, see you later.